What's up guys, my name is Align, also known as the Bearded Bear, and today I got a package. There it is. That means we're doing the bumper and the fog lights today. So let me get this bumper out, let me check the condition. I've already, I cheated a bit. The color is correct. Um, yeah, I just gotta get it out and start putting it together. First things first, we need to get the old bumper off. So pop the hood and get some clips off, get underneath, get those screws out, and let's get this started. That's it, as simple as that. A uh, few screws, most of it's just plastic clips and bumper is down. Now, I'm gonna take a look at the bumper real quick, see what needs to get pulled off so I can transfer to the new bumper and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, all right, so here's the back of the bumper. Um, obviously there's certain things, components that need to go onto the new bumper. Um, first is first. This uh, foam piece. There are these little slots. I cheated, so whatever. These slots, that's where they slot into, are held on by these little metal clips. There and there. Two of them, pop them off with, I used my Mac tools, a little angled needle nose. Super simple. Uh, the tools you need for this are uh, a panel popper tool or like a pla little small plastic screwdriver, a uh, little screwdriver. Phillips head, I'm using a P2, um, one of these, nice small one that I can get in there, has a nice little fat grip that you can uh, get leverage on. Foam bit comes off. Here we have, there's gonna be a bunch of little screws here. Um, I took them off, you might not actually need to, but that is for this bad boy. It's the chrome trim for the front of the vehicle. But yeah. Um, then it's just Phillips, 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 Phillips. And these little clips, you, uh, you pretty much on the inside of this, pull and they pop upward. And then the whole thing will come out. There's a bunch of them. You just kind of go easy. <sighs> Put that down. Same dealy up here. There's a little um, right here. That little one is a little one, this little plastic clip. One over there, one here. You can see the little hole right there. And then Phillips, Phillips, and same deal, just a little plastic all the way across. You get the one side up and click, 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 click. Pieces out. So, that's everything. Um, I'm gonna go over the bumper one more time, make sure that that is everything, but next you'll see is the actual new bumper. Here we go. Here it is. Color matched for less than 200 bucks. As you can see, silver. It's like sh shimmering silver metallic or something that it's called. But now my project or my decision is, where do I start? Uh, I probably just go backwards from where I was on that bumper and then install the fog lights. Uh, but pretty straightforward. Everything's just going to clip back into place and yeah, uh, let's, let's get this going. Well, didn't seem that quick on, on time lapse, but uh, I mean, didn't seem that long, but it did take me a little while. Uh, 
here we go. All back together, here you go. Let me, let me show you in a better light, hold on. There we go, everything I took off is now back on the bumper. Next thing to tackle are these fog lights. Uh, I'm gonna pull them out of the other package, bring them over, I have the uh, mounting screws there, there, and yeah, let's get this cracking. All done. It actually looks great with those tinted fogs. Uh, I was a little skeptical, but tint's always not that bad. But now I got to get the damn car tinted, and I'm I'm a fan of the fish fishbowl look, like I've said in my previous videos about my Jeep. But I, don't know, I think the car would look good with a nice little a little twenty percent tip. Yeah, twenty percent tint would look pretty good. But let's get this bumper on and uh, see the final result. See you in a second. Alright guys, all done. <laughs> I'll show you in just a second, but that was a lot, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, I, I was going into this thinking I was going to have to drill out rivets, uh, pop new rivets in, or some kind of specialty clip uh, like Ford uh, uses for their, for their bumpers, for all of their plastic moldings that go on. There's like these little things that, it's a nightmare. Um, but this, this was easy. Phillips head screws. Uh, the only specialty thing that was on there was that one little teeth, little flat metal thing that grabs onto that foam bumper thing, bumper protective, whatever. Um, overall, it was a, it was, it was pretty damn easy. Uh, you guys could do this on on a level of one to ten. This was at most a four or five. wasn't bad at all. But let's check out the end result. And there we go. Nice little tinted lights, fresh clean bumper. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, it changes the entire appearance of the car uh, and I'm, I'm overjoyed to get this thing back in presentable condition. And with that, guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you can, just hit that like button. Button. It lets me know that you enjoy what I'm doing and the progress I'm making on my channel. Um, the next video on this channel will likely be the tail light uh, on this vehicle. Uh, I ordered it before the bumper. The bumper wasn't even sprayed or anything. Uh, they got it painted, shipped, and to me in less than a week. And this taillight is still somewhere in the middle of Pennsylvania, and I don't know when it's going to be delivered. They're saying Monday, um, nearly a week and a half to be del to deliver a taillight doesn't make any sense, uh, considering I got these fog lights in a day and a half. Uh, but I digress. If you like this video, again, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll actually put a little annotation right here. It's got my face. Just click it. It'll give you the option. If you missed my last video, it'll be right here. It was me actually unboxing these fog lights that I installed today. And until next time, guys, today was a good day, and I'll see you soon.